Hello dudes and dudes, my name is Snyderman. This is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are continuing our little saga here. Um, we are all, all rationed up, all healed up. Everything's good to go. I'm recording this one pretty much immediately after last one. Uh, lady, I remain prepared to support you with soldiers and supplies should you should the need arise. Alfred Rex. So, I think... I thinks... Me thinks... That we needs... Take out Mr. Alfred. And I bet you that's what this next thing is going to be. I feel like there was a loot thing up here that I was supposed to get. And apparently, I'm not going to get it now. Which is fine. It's fine. I didn't want it anyway. Why would we want to, like, you know, clear out all the loot in areas and things like that? See, that would just make sense. Of the ancient ones. The Isu. The gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands in a threshold should take great care to look around. Well, who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond? I've passed through this doorway once before. But Sigurd, in a dream, not once, a thousand times. A thousand. What? I'm very confused. Oh, don't give me that look. I don't like him. I know he's like an assassin and whatnot. I don't like him. Me does think he is a bit of a douche. What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are fogged, shadowed. And yet I, I feel their meaning. And the ash tree, I see the great tree of life, her boughs reaching skyward, opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was hmm. true. He's talking about Asgard. Yeah. Ever. I am more than I appear to be. So much more. He thinks he's a god, magic, though, and he's Sigurd. getting like... Dark Seder, do not listen. No. This is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex. Marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? Well, well let's go spent. take him out. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak. And the King of Wessex will listen. Oh, no. You're gonna like be like, er, I'm a god, herpeter, bow to me, herpeter, because that always goes well. Whoa. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not all your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can discover this uh -oh. Please, no secrets here. Pleasant is here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave, Mercy. What? He's and trading we fall me? Back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich, my war thane. Whoa, Dang. big boy. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Don't. Sigurdjörn, I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. Mm. King Alfred, wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke. Are you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Mm. 
Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake. And his heresies are profound, my lord. Oh. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! Yes! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Um, Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. I think we just got Scrooge McDucked by Bowl Cut Lady. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. I don't, I don't think Bassam is what he appears to be, and I don't like it. I think he's exactly what he appears to be. That's the point. What do you mean? He's an assassin. He has an agenda. Fair enough. Your agenda is not necessarily yours or something. Fair enough. All right, everything's loading. All right, now we got we got some skill points acquired. So let's do that. How many do we got? Is it just the two? Yeah. So we were up here in the red, right? Red and yellow has kind of been our our way to go. Um, no wolf for you. No, not really. I haven't really done much with blue. I've been more bear and raven. Um, although we were kind of stuck on yellow because... 146? Yeah. Dang. Love me some melee resistance. I don't get poisoned a lot. So, I mean, there's that. And right now that you're getting into higher things. Yeah, maybe. We'll keep that in our back pocket. But yeah, I I got a pretty nice balance between red and yellow going, I think. Blue, we've kind of neglected. I don't even know if there's anything... I don't even know if there's anything on the blue tree that we really are interested in. I mean, we were coming down here. Ah... This was nice. Last chance healing. But, I don't know. Reports to V. Ooh, okay. Well, we got a bit of a journey, folks. So, I'll be back. Okay, so we're almost back in Ravensthorpe. We're going to do a few things, actually, while we are back here. Um, one, getting some rations might be nice. Uh, but two, we have a lot of stuff to do in terms of turning in... Uh-oh. Have I stranded my horse? We have a lot of stuff to do in terms of turning in, uh... Like our death hound head and our like a whole bunch of other stuff that we were able to get uh to the museum and stuff like that so that is what we're gonna do there we go we're not gonna leave our horsey to swim that would be mean so we're gonna do that first so i know the hunting area or the hunting spot is I thought I knew where it was okay wait a minute where am I all right so this is the hunting lodge right
Shall we spend some time together? Oh. I no, I don't want to do that yet. Let's talk again soon. I don't want to do that yet. Is that your love interest? Uh, apparently a potential one. Impressive. Never seen anything like it. Ha ha. Hollowed monolith scheme. It's our reward for the cor corpse uh, feeders. All right. Let's go to our blacksmith. See what kind of upgrading we can do. May I see your stores? Okay. Change appearance. Use the top navigation to access the change appearance menu and change the look of your gear and weapons. Downgrade gear. Use the top navigation to access. You have a keen eye for quality. Downgrade gear. Change appearance. What? What? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um, that's new. Didn't know we could do that. Um, Alright, so what do we got? I want to enhance it. We got three... So, cost me one to do that, one to do that, one to do that. It'll cost me three of that, three of that. So I can do this. Already off the guard. Upgraded my punish bow. Ah, that one's pretty good. Update that. Look at that. And then... If I do... My cloak... I can't see what it changed. So All that's my nice. All are good, but that one's very good. Oh, that's super cool. I like that a lot. Nothing else I can do for you? Goodbye. I must take my leave. So long. Oh, Until that is sick looking. I like that a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. Uh, okay. So we got some letters here. That we need to read. Uh, I have already prayed this letter finds you well, and my son Colbert has written me a few times now, often. So much detail it is, it is as though I'm there. He admires you, trusts you, warms my heart to know he has someone to look up to. I know you will do right by him. As for myself, I have settled nicely into this new role. My court is behind me, and I have the people's loyalty. For the first time in a long time, mercy is stable. It's thanks to you. Aha! I want to know, so there's the elk head, where is, I do not know, alright, hey, what's up, let's talk to Randvi, Randvi, see what she has to say, and that might be it actually, thank dear, I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Told you robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! <laughs> robbed is a pointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Sure. Of course. From the beginning. Please. Well now, there is uh -oh. no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has oh, better claim to see these 
You might leave them to work Dag, out for you. themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? No, Dag. You're a jerk. Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Understood. Rowan, hmm. tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match. But this morning, okay. Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holger and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a scout for years. You have seen how my tools... Sorry, I'm focused. I'm listening intently. ...to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain... ...let us say... ...freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed. Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, uh -oh. softer, to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafer's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. Yeah. I've heard enough. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Rowan is right. Yeah, Rowan's right. Olga, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. Yeah. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale. Rowan, admit it. My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by tears blessing, let this matter rest. Yeah, done the guy shouldn't have, like, come in without asking and do that. That's, yeah, no. Perfect. Solving that issue. All right. Would you allow me to pay you with quest completed, main and tail? I don't know why we just randomly did that, but let's talk to Ranvi like we're supposed to. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite a character. I yes, he is. Envy him. 
To see the world through such a muddy glass, and live with such petty concerns, he hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenifertshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. The wolf kiss one, to the blessings of the self-begotten one uh, upon you, Eivor, I write only to ease your mind and let you know that Sigurd is in good hands and in fine company. I will treat him with all the care he deserves. The order to which I belong ha- Oh! Oh, good, the instrument. She's a member of the order. Fulke is with the order of the ancients. The same order Chotwe followed. Okay. The order that Basim and Haitham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man. So, I, I say we go rescue our time, brother Basim will real quick. Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. Some interesting news. King Chilvulva sent Chilbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. Okay. So... I don't want to do that. I want to go to the order. Uh, blessings upon the self-begotten. All right, she is the instrument. Okay. Continue the story to find the next clue. Okay, so eventually we're gonna get her anyway. Um. Wow. Let's see. So. Let's see what we gotta do then. Speak. Are you alright? Randri, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... Uh -oh. I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Yeah, let's go. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride. <laughs> we just learned that your right, husband is taken hostage, nearby. but it's fine. We're it's fine. Totally. We're, we're good. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Um... Let's go. Let's Randy, go. Take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were yeah, tired of let's all go. this. Why not? Why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Alright. So... Me. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go. the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandjabritsha. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Uh, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Okay. Let's swim when we get that far, then. 
Let's go. I don't... I don't know... Let's go. Into the woods. Into the woods. To Grant Briggs. Grant Briggs, wherever we're going. Sure. We'll do this, and then we'll call it an episode. I have been keeping a track... Have been keeping track of the time. I know the last episode went a little long. This one looks to be doing the same. So, sorry about that. But, let's go ahead and... And go from there. Alright, I guess it's time to swim, Ranvi. Ah, uh, let's go over here. Sorry, Ranby, let's go. Are you good back there, by the way? Like, where are you? Okay. You're good. You good? Alright, yeah, you're good. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Hop on. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Um, it really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. I have a feeling that this is something that you are supposed to do, kind of? Nope. Not today, Mr. Wolf. Not today. Let's go. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the summer army retreated when Grantobridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Yeah. It's it's cool, right? We, like, far away through here and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like I said, the goal the goal is to keep moving through the story, which I think we're doing a pretty good job at now. Like, I haven't done a whole lot. Um, and here we are. Welcome to Oh, easy. We should make our way to the longhouse. Oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. Yeah. Everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. Let's come up here. Is there a... Oh, we gotta go around the corner. Sorry. 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 Sorry, excuse us. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Did I... Did... Did I... Ran me? Did I... Okay. Uh... Ha, you can climb. Perfect. 
We're gonna take you in here. Think you can swill with well, the well, well. It's the day boy, I see. Hello. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected mm -hmm. more people about Magni. Something happened. Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodder. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. Have it help. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandits surely Let's will. go take out some bandits. Take from them what you like. It sounds like Good. a lovely date Consider to me. the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. So, apparently, we have... <laughs> Awkward. We have a... A theme going on the channel. You volunteered us for a fight, Landry. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. We have a theme running on the channel right now, apparently, that involves... Oh, sorry, Ranvi. Oh, you good? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Apparently, we have a theme going on the channel of our main character stealing away married women, which isn't a great look, but, you know. Whoa. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any That's better, all right. I would say you're teasing Can't me. help it. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. Was she just flirting with me? Was she just flirting with me? So, here's my thought on that. My thought is there, the bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Brood and look sternly at the horizon. By all means. So my my thought when it comes to things like that is you need to be happy. You need to be happy, right? So you shouldn't have to spend the rest of your life miserable. You seemed hot for a battle. So here we go. We're doing this in secret. We're doing this pretty secretively. Nicely done. Oh. Uh oh. Ow. Oh, 
be, you could. Oh, shit. Shit. Wait, what? Feel stronger already. There. That's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. All right, let's go. Perfect. I mean, that was fun. That was a fun little, fun little questy quest, I suppose. Not a bad little quest. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. That's a pretty horse that she's got. Just saying. Oh, nope. This should be a good way to end the episode once we talk to him and get this little quest done, I suppose. I don't know why she was so whatever about, or why I was so quick to be like, oh, hey, let's go, after we found out that Sigurd is is captured, but, you know, whatever, I suppose. Might as well. I mean, I, I don't know. It's kind of a weird way to do it, I, I guess, but that's, that's fine. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the courts, he is safe. And... Thank you, Eivor. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor! Over here! Look at this! Uh -oh. Someone is thirsty! Are you uh -oh. determined to get drunk? I am. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. Oh. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Randy, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, fine. Let us drink. Beautiful. Might as well. Me versus Ranvi. Might as well. This little quest need is probably going to be over soon. Skull. Skull. Chug. 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 She's trying to get me drunk, I think. Certainly she's trying to get me drunk. And why wouldn't she? I am a fantastic looking man. Perfect. I won! Ah, I won. Don't know what that means, but I won. There, you see? Should not have tried to outdrink me, Randri. It cannot be done. Hmm, strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is, thank you, Randri. Mm -hmm. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. All right. After just one more stop. Uh, oh, it's a we don't have time for a waterfall. stop. Close to home. We can stop for a look and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. 
Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already. All right. Well, I do hope to see you again. Let's go. Uh. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. All right, let's go home. Maybe Ranvi ought to be, uh, be driving. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. Nice. I will sound it with pride. Sunivar described his tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day right. of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Oh. Time for a little rest. Yep, let's go. Let's -a go, let's -a go, let's -a go. And turn. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? Why is she so curious about no, me and Soma? I mean, did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Ranby. If you must. Where are we going here, Ranby? Look there. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Okay. Taking the bridge. Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built? Hundreds of winters ago. Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Okay, I suppose. <laughs> Keep up! Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. Interesting you climb enough. well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. She wants a view from the top. Of course she does. Well, well. Look at this. Um. Give me a minute. Indeed. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Mm. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinga, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. 
or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... ...and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. I can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What? What was that? Oh, no, I am... I am sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult um... position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. Uh... YOLO, I guess. Comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. Yeah, it's okay. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Oh. Okay, now we're awkward. Now it's awkward. Okay. Is that Ranby? Yeah, that's Ranby. Shauna, Shauna was asleep for all that. And woke up and... Yeah. Realized that... Ranby? Eivor and Ranvi and were, were kissing. Must have returned to the settlement. So, yeah. I don't know if I can. I think there's water down, down there. Alright, well. With that, leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave me a comment down below. It lets me know what you're loving on the channel. And have a great day. We just kissed our brother's best friend's wife. Lovely.